Hey guys, good morning. Good Sunday morning to you. Um, I had to run out the house. I know we're not supposed to, well, I'm in North Carolina, so they haven't put a mandatory quarantine on us yet. But I had to run out and get something for my husband. And when I was coming out, this is why you can never judge a book by its cover, y'all. Hold on, let me put that right there. You can never judge a book by its cover. Now, you know I'm down here in the South. And uh, you always hear the stories and we know how rampant racism is all over the world. And you know how sometimes we stereotype people, they look a certain way, we just assume that they're quote unquote prejudiced. Um, I hate the word redneck, but that's what people call them. And, and so you look at people and you think, <laughs> oh my God, you know. So we were in the store, had run, walking, you know, keeping my distance from people. But this lady, she must be in her late 60s, <clears throat> real thin, long scraggly hair. Um, she had an American flag scarf around her neck and jeans and cowboy boots. And when I looked at her, my first mind said, oh my God, you know, she doesn't look very pleasant. I wonder if she's one of them good old boys, you know? I was farthest from, the, from correct. We were outside, I was putting my stuff in the car and um, she said, I'll take your car to the thing for you. You know, she had parked next to me. I said, oh, thank you so much. And she said, I, look, I pray that you, you we, we gonna make out well in this situation with Corona and everything. And I asked her, I said, what do you think? Cause when I see people and then we're, you know, I'm in line, I asked her, I said, what's your thoughts about this whole thing? How do you think we're gonna make out? And the first thing she said was, we would make out fine as long as we, you know, uh, do what they tell us to do. And she said, we would have made out better if that idiot in the White House had moved on this months ago when he first found out about it. And I'm like, I wasn't expecting this white woman from the South to be talking about the president. And I try not to enter into political conversation. I'm trying to be a good Christian and <laughs> just pray for the president because regardless of my political and ideological beliefs, he is still the president of the United States and, and we are commanded to pray for our leaders, right? But <laughs> there are some things you just can't deny. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, of course, supported Barack Obama, but he was not a perfect president. We're not perfect people. So I'm not one of those people who is going to be like, you know, uh, every other president prior to Trump was brilliant and, and, and perfect, and this man isn't. But we know it's just a lot of things that I just don't believe um, with Trump. However, my, this is not a Trump bashing session. This is about judging people. So that woman and I stood outside in the parking lot of Food Line and talked for almost 40 minutes about the situation, about political issues. I found out she used to be a detective. I found out that she worked with unions. She was part of one of the unions to help bring down um, one of the casinos. Um, just an amazing venture. We were just talking about politics. I was explaining to her how I always had political aspirations when I was younger, how I had my my degrees in political science and public administration. We were talking about Elizabeth Warren and Rachel Maddow and just, just Bernie Sanders and Biden and just everything. We're talking about the pandemic of 1918. And I'm just saying that to say this, in this situation we are in right now, <clears throat> when we are allowed to be out around people again, if we don't learn from this to first of all, surrender to God and really realize we have no control really over nothing. And two, if we don't learn how to love one another and get along, this thing has been in vain. And it has been, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing how we have got to learn to get along with each other. I had no clue this woman, her ideological and political beliefs were so similar to mine because I prejudged her. I looked at her and she had all the quote unquote stereotypical looks of a quote unquote redneck from the South, you know, furthest from the truth, furthest helped in the uh, political um, f uh, arena for civil rights, women's rights. And I prejudged her. And that is is just wrong. So we got to check ourselves, y'all. And again, I'm not saying, I, I literally was shocked when she mentioned Trump because that's one thing I don't bring Trump up in the South, particularly when I'm talking to a person that's Caucasian because I don't know how that could go down. But it just surprised me. And again, we didn't bond on the fact that we think Trump could do better because again, I'm gonna pray for him. He's the leader. The Bible commands us to pray for our leaders and I'm gonna pray for him. 
But what amazed me, the lesson at the takeaway, as I like to give you all, the takeaway was we cannot prejudge people. And if this thing doesn't bring us together, God help us. God help us. I mean, we're living in neighborhoods where there's diversity. Many of us, there's diversity. Your neighbor next door may be white. Your other neighbor to the other may be Latino, Dominican, whatever. You better learn how to get along because, honey, we don't know. We might be having to pass beans and rice and soup and food to the neighbor because we don't really know how this is going to go down. I'm pre I am hoping for the best, but I'm preparing for the worst. I'm preparing for the worst. And so, <clears throat> again, y'all, I just wanted to share that with you all. A lesson early this morning, Sunday morning, the God is showing me, don't prejudge people. And we need one another. All right. You know, I like to end in a prayer. I need to pray that I put me some makeup on. <laughs> but Lord, let's pray for, so, for real. Lord, thank you for this day. God, in the name of Jesus, forgive us as a people, as a nation for prejudging others. God, in the name and blood of Jesus Christ, we ask that you please let your spirit flow, Lord. You said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, then will we hear from heaven and you will heal our land. God, please heal our land, Father. Be with those pe fam people who have lost family members to this coronavirus. We pray even for the leaders of this nation. We pray for our president. We pray for the leaders of these world, God, that you will give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Talk to you soon. Be blessed. Bye-bye.